The steps in OR formulation consists of formulating a problem for optimization by satisfying a set of constraints. First identify the criteria for objective which may require either to maximize or minimize. Second identify the decision variables which would satisfy the constraints. Finally the whole problem is packed for different alternatives or combinations. This would be done automatically in solvers or sequentially in manual iteration using simplex algorithm. The solution results from invoking the solver. The usual steps for all problems consists of following four steps. These steps transition between practical or business and mathematical context for providing recommendations. Some solutions are sound mathematically but might not make practical or business sense. In such cases the formulations needs to be revisited in order to obtain solutions that are suitable for practical recommendation. First step is define practical objective of problem. Second step is translate objective in mathematical form. Third step deals with solving the mathematical problem by invoking the solver or iterating from basic feasible solution. Finally the mathematical solution needs to be interpreted in practical sense either in same form or with modification or with reformulation of problem. The tutorials deals with or formulation in solvers. So it is important to identify how to enumerate variables and constraint that may seem appropriate. In most of the solvers, usually row-wise formulation is done, while in certain cases column-wise enumeration is done. After solving the formulated model we first check status of solution i optimal, infeasible, unbounded etc. and take necessary actions. If the status is optimal, we find value of decision variables and objective. First or problem is finding dimensions of a rectangle to maximize the area for a given length L. The constraint implies that length is equal to twice the sum of length and width. The problem is unique in the sense that it consists of infinite alternatives and or formulation would yield quadratic objective. The approach is solving the problem by differentiating the area which is width multiplied with height with respect to width or height and equating the first differential to zero. This in mathematical terms implies that optimally width and height is one-fourth of length. Now let us look at the problem in Python. First, import the package. In this case SYMPY package for differentiation is used. Secondly, a function or method max area rectangle is declared that starts with defining the variable W as width and then equating Y as area. 
Here we have converted the height in terms of length L and width W E prime is differentiation of area Y with respect to width W that yields width W equal to one fourth of length L. We check function max area rectangle for a length of 10 units and find that it yields 2.5 units.